Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has also rolled out a brand new Windows 11 Insider Preview build to the Canary channel late last week, which is build 26,200. And you will notice that there is a build number change and a build increase, which is quite important because this is the first Canary channel release, as I have been posting, in the last couple of weeks that has not been joined by a preview build release for the dev channel with Microsoft saying from the release notes for this latest build with the Canary channel moving to a higher build number the window closes on being able to switch to the dev channel without doing a clean install of Windows so take note of that that's a very important point and note if you are finding yourself uh, in the dev channel and if you haven't switched Microsoft says channels yet you can still do so before taking build 26,200. So that's quite an important bit of information if you do find yourself uh, in the Dev Canary channel. Now, because we've moved up to a new build, 26,200, something else to take note of is that the build watermark, if you are in the Canary channel now, at the lower right-hand corner of the desktop has returned. So that means now, because Microsoft has rolled out and started pushing out their RTM, Release to Manufacturing, build which was 26100 as I posted on and I'll leave that uh, video in the end screen that's basically the start of the 24H2 annual feature update that is already been pushed out with build 26100 the previous build to OEM so they can start testing hardware drivers and so on before the annual feature update rolls out later this year so that's why the build watermark uh, in the on the desktop at that lower right hand corner has returned because RTM now is out of the way which means we're getting closer to our annual feature update and now things go back to being normal so to speak in the Canary channel. Now over and above that um, just to mention one or two improvements they've made some improvements to the widgets button on the taskbar so that the icons on the taskbar are clearer and they're also rolling out a larger set of animated icons too that also rolled out to the beta channel and then Microsoft mentions that after trying out a different design for the energy saver icon in the system tray a few months ago for PCs that are plugged in and do not have batteries such as desktop PCs, they've reverted to the they've reverted the design as we can see back to the leaf icon a few builds ago. This change is also now present in build 26100. So that's listed as a change and an improvement. And that's it guys. That's more or less what's happening now in the Canary channel for last week. So because, as mentioned, the so-called 24H2 features have moved away now from Canary channel, more into dev and beta, uh, we can expect now a whole lot of new brand new features starting to roll out um, over the next couple of months that Microsoft will start testing in the Canary channel to some extent or the other. And because um, it's early days, they've rolled out a couple of fixes for known issues. And then because it is early days and the Canary channel is very unstable, there are a couple of new known issues, which is common in these early uh, preview builds, especially the Canary channel. So I think the big one of this is that the window closes on being able to switch to the dev channel without doing a clean install of Windows. And that means you can still do so before taking Build 26,200. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.